This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. It is now 6.53, time to get you ready to take on your Tuesday with the Morning Sprint. Yeah, Allison Martinez has details on some rainfall that finally came our way. Sydney Charles has the latest on evacuation levels in the Oregon Road Fire currently burning near Elk. But first, there's been some good news. Reliefs are so many affected by the Gray Fire in Medical Lake. Let's get to Marissa Rio live with some details. We just spoke with Shane Rossback, a fire information officer for Fire Team 7, which is a fire incident command team that's in charge of the Gray Fire. And he just said that the Gray Fire is now 25% contained. Some really good news. We're getting some rain this morning. There's moisture in the air. He says that should help fire crews fight this fire. We should start seeing some evacuations being downgraded. But right now, evacuations have been downgraded to level one for everything north of Campbell Road. About 4,000 people were able to come home last night. Reporting in Cheney, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now. And along with that, good news for drivers. Evacuation has been downgraded to level one for the north part of Medical Lake and the northeasternmost side of the evacuation zone. And some families who left their homes are desperate to know if their homes are still standing and if they need to file an insurance claim. 4 News Now Digital Anchor Rob King talked to the Northwest Insurance Council who advises that even if you don't know if your home is damaged yet, you should still reach out to your insurance company now because it may be able to help you with the cost of hotels and supplies if you were forced to leave your home. The more information you have about what was in your home before the loss, the easier the claims process will be for your insurer. You can watch his whole interview available right now on KXLY.com. Crews fighting the Great Fire since Friday start and end their days at Cheney Middle School working tirelessly through the heavy smoke, wind, and flames. It takes a toll on both the mental and physical health, and it's vital for them to manage their stress while trying to save the Medical Lake community. You can read more about the impacts the Great Fire has had on firefighters' mental health on KXLY.com. FEMA has approved a fire management assistance grant to help cover the cost of our firefighting efforts. The government will cover 75% of the state's eligible expenses for equipment use, tools, materials, supplies, and more. These funds are strictly for firefighting and individual homes and business owners are not covered by this specific grant. And breaking news just into the newsroom this morning, the Idaho Board of Education has informed the West Bonner School District that's up in Priest River that it's in violation for its decision to hire that man, Brandon Durst, as its superintendent. The Idaho Freedom Foundation staffer and former state representative has drawn criticism for his lack of experience as a teacher or school administrator. In a letter, it says Durst does not hold the proper superintendent certification and thus is unqualified to work in Idaho as a superintendent. In light of this information, the school board is holding an emergency meeting tonight to discuss its next steps. The Oregon Road fire has burned more than 10,000 acres since Friday. The Washington Department of Natural Resources told me that at least 80 structures have burned and go now evacuations are still in place for a large area in North Spokane County this morning. On your screen now, we're showing you the most updated level three evacuations for this fire. Anyone living in the area marked in red needs to leave immediately if you haven't already. A crew of more than 400 is on the scene right now trying to control the fire lines. The Oregon Road fire, but there's still no sign of containment. Spokane County Sheriff's officials confirmed that a body was found in the wreckage on Sunday and a medical examiner still working to figure out the person's cause and manner of death. 4 News Now has talked to multiple fire victims who have lost their homes in this fire. You can find all of those stories right now on KXLY.com. I am happy to report that we do have some moisture happening throughout the area today. This will be taking effect early this morning, all throughout the day into the evening. Now places in particular, Spokane will be seeing about half an inch by this evening, and there will be a flood warning in effect until this evening, and this will be affecting Garfield, Shoshone, Latah counties. While you may be breathing easier this morning, it's important to keep checking in on those air quality levels. School districts and colleges had to cancel outdoor practices again yesterday. Local pools and the America Skyride in downtown Spokane were closed as well. We are keeping a running list of events and locations that are canceled or postponed on KXY.com. Things looking pretty good, though, today with our air quality. The city of Afreda currently under a precautionary boil water advisory. A, malfact a malfunctioning sensor in the city's water monitoring system over the weekend reduced water pressure for some people in southeast and northeast Afreda to near zero. The city is asking everyone within city limits to bring water to a rolling boil for at least a minute, then let it cool before using. The Grandview Heights area is exempt from that boil advisory.
And we will be back with a final check of weather with Allison Martinez right after this quick break.